Hello and welcome to Amsha Tech. Today we are exploring the topic identifying CDS views of SAP Standard Fury app. Most of the developers are worrying about how to find the CDS view of any Fury app so then they can uh, extend the Fury app or solve any issue or do some research or do they uh, do they uh, develop their own Fury app so this video is for all those developers who are new and who are who want to explore and uh, do work for SAP Fury apps so let's begin so why we need to find CDS view name from time to time we need to find out the data service CDS view and authorization use for any standard Fury app so as I explained uh, for build the security profile for plan and extension of any SAP standard Fury app or for troubleshoot an issue whether either it is a standard Fury app or either it is customized Fury app we have to know what what is the CDS view view or views behind any Fury app so let's just uh, let's discuss the Fury app structure as you know free app, every Fury app have uh, CDS uh, uh, CDS view all the way after the layer of uh, O data service. The, this means the CDS view is communicating with the O data service, and the O data service is connected and communicating with the Fury app. So everything is uh, between uh, CDS views and O data service and Fury app is synchronized very clearly. So this is a uh, two uh, two type of communication one is from O data service of CDS pooling and then CDS view and the other is O data service via via gateway or service builder and then CDS view so in the first step we have to find O data service from Fury app and then in the second step we will find CDS view from the O data service. So uh, there are two ways to find O data service from Fury app via the Fury apps library and via the apps uh, manifest JSON file. This means we have to go for the Fury apps library and then we will explore how we can find the O data service. And in the second way, uh, we also uh, go to the Fury apps library, but there we will use the uh, SAP UI5 name of any Fury app. So let's explore the first option, uh, Fury apps library. So here we go. It's connecting to the SAP Fury apps library uh, portal. So. So this is a supply chain visualization app. Uh, it is for oil and gas industry, and the, is it support the device type desktop, and database is HANA DB exclusive, and its app ID is F2737. So let's go directly to the implementation tab, and here implementation tab we have to go to the configuration, and then configuration. We will find SAP UI 5 information and O data services information, and also SAP Fury app, Fury Launchpad information, and uh, also it has technical information. So the TSW Visual Shipment underscore SRV is a O data services uh, used for this Fury app and VBI APPL underscore SRV is the is also a ordered service for this app. The detail view we explored the information about the app. So if we want 
the complete uh, complete uh, list of information of all the fury app or any selected app we can also uh, have the list of uh, list of uh, list of fury apps with the o data services and also with the additional o data services let's explore we will have to go to the list view We will have to go to the list view. Here we will find all the Fury apps, all the Fury apps, and it's exploring. We are exploring the entire library of Fury app, and so on. We can also have the column of uh, uh, for our desired column, light, uh, uh, like like. Expo data services and also we will have the where it is additional O data service let's find the column name O data So we select the column name O data service and then we can download here you are seeing that there is uh, there is a button to download this information all the information in the Excel so you can you can easily play around with in the information of uh, Fury apps so let's click on the download button the file is started downloading the file is uh, size uh, 4 point approximately 5 MB it has so now it is has it is downloaded now so when we click on the Excel uh, file which is downloaded we will find the information all the information directly goes into our personal uh, computer so we will easily play around this here we also find the additional O data services if the fury app have any additional O data service this inform this file will also give its name so they can so then we can use easily uh, Odata service and its additional Odata services. So moving on, how we can find the Odata service from the manifest.json file? So uh, for this, we again we have to go to the, again to the Furious library and the Odata service by using the uh, by using uh, the manifest.json file. So we have to copy the S uh, SAP UI5 uh, application technical name control C and then we have to go to the our system uh, GUI system here it is here we have to go to the uh, SE80 and then we have to select BSP application option and after that we have to go we have to paste the SAP UI5 application name and then press enter. Here it is. We will we have the information about uh, the BSP application. Here we have to go to the manifest.json file. Let's double click on this. So in conclusion, for, uh, we, if we have to find the Odata uh, service via manifest.json file, 
we have to go to the SCAT and then give to the SAP UI5 name of SAP Fury app and then go to the manifest.json uh, file and there uh, we we have to explore data source data source uh, uh, data, data source section and there we will find the uh, the all data service very easily uh, in the URI section let's move on so step number two we we now we know the old data services how to find the old data services and by using the old data service we can easily identify the um, the serious name of uh, old data service which works behind the old data service so here is the first option old data service with naming convention some uh, the those old data service which have the mean convention uh, that the name is ended with the underscore CDS we can find we can find this now we can find CDS name by using uh, by by removing the underscore CDS uh, from uh, from the order of service name easily and for example if we go to this app supplier payment analysis here again go to the uh, implementation section and then configuration here we find the serious name is c underscore this one so control we have to copy the uh, this name or data service and then we have to go to the SC11 uh, code and control V which we have copied and we have to remove the underscore CDS from the name and this is the uh, this is the view name this is the CDS view name of order service let's display it here it is so hope you understand that if we have to find the CDS view of any order order service uh, that's uh, uh, that's name is ending with the underscore CDS we just have to remove underscore CDS uh, and then uh, ex uh, and then we easily find the CDS name of that order service so for the option number two the those auditor services which have ended underscore SRV we can find the CDS view name by uh, by exploring it in a Fury uh, apps library let's go to the Fury apps library here it is if we go to the implementation information of Fury apps library and then go to the configuration tab we will find its uh, old data service name which uh, which is ended um, un at the underscore SRV so let's uh, copy it out and then go to the uh, our Eclipse here it is just click on the open button and control V Just click on the open button and then control V and then remove the underscore SRV in into the name. Here it is. You are seeing that TSW visual underscore shipment is uh, uh, match. So just double click on this name. It's redirect to the uh, SAP Gateway Service Builder. Let's go to the data model of it and then data source references and then exposure via SADL and then CDS entity exposure 
and then entity types here it is if we ex if we expand it we will find all the entity types which is used is is you uh, which are using here so if we want to find the series view so just double click on the entity type by control c and then again go to the open button control v and just remove the type from its name and here it is now we have find just go to the data definition now we have find the cds name of and uh, the uh, fury app shipment so this is a second option the those uh, old data services which are added um, under which the name underscore srv we first uh, go to the apps library and copy the old data service name and then uh, go to the eclipse and paste the old data service name but without underscore srv after that we have to go to the data sources and under the model tab and uh, there we will find the entity types just we have to just copy the entity type name and then remove the type uh, type word um, from the end of the entity name so if we remove the type word from the entity name we will easily find the cds view of that or data service hope you understand let's continue or data service with naming convention cb underscore xxs these are data services that supports fury search and are written with a special approach we just have to go to the transition uh, maintenance service and then use filter cb underscore cost underscore c So this is the second option uh, of uh, finding the CDS view by using the old data service. Hope you learned something from this video and if you like this video do like to click on the like button and also for informing or for getting any new uh, informative videos in the future do subscribe my channel till let's meet into another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.